Welcome to the Online Car Show channel. I'm James, and today we're gonna to talk about how you can get a trophy at a car show. So with that hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. Well, I've debated on doing this video for a long time simply for the fact that trophies are not the reason you should be going to a car show. I know it seems like it for a lot of people you see at the show and stuff, but uh, in actuality, you know, you should be going to the show for enjoying a good time, you know, on the weekend, getting an excuse to get your baby out of the garage and drive out there with other like-minded car people, uh, enjoying other people's cars, and of course, socializing with other people. Uh, that should be the reason you're going to a car show not for the simple fact of getting a trophy a trophy is kind of a really cool bonus you get out of it uh, and that's kind of how it should be seen you know and if you don't get a trophy at one show there's plenty other car shows and many more chances for you to get one so uh, in this video I'm going to show you you know how to improve your chances to getting a trophy uh, since you're going to the car show anyways uh, before we get too too far and too deep into the video I do want to go ahead and ask y'all to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button that helps my videos to grow and helps get my channel out there and I can't say thank you enough for that help you know it is that season that's kind of why I'm releasing this video when I am it's kind of the second season for car shows in Houston at that time of year and uh, there's a couple shows I want to put out there one is I'm probably gonna be hitting the Richmond show this weekend it's uh, Oldsmobile Club and Richmond is hosting an open car show for everybody to come out and uh, probably gonna be at that show this weekend next weekend is a huge show being sponsored by West Houston Muscle and 94.5 the edge uh it's called the Boobs Rock Car Show, and I think I saw it's gonna be at Mancuso, Harley Davidson, up off 290 and 6th area. And uh, this one I highly recommend. It's gonna be October 1st, and if you're in the Houston area, come on out, enjoy the show. Yeah, one of the big radio stations in town is gonna be there, and it should be a really good time. Uh, and then after that, October 8th weekend, we have uh, Coach, which is the Corvette Owners Club of Houston, is hosting an open car show uh, for all cars at Sugarland Town Square in Sugarland. So I'll be at that car show as well. And then we get into Halloween season and bunch more car shows on the list. So it's just one weekend after the other uh, for the next couple months here good times but anyways let's get on to the video at hand you know how can you improve your odds of getting a trophy at a car show I'm gonna go over what I see nine things here you can do to help that out uh, number one this is the easy one and should be a given a nice car uh, you know if you're pulling into a car show and you're you're in a uh, I don't know, uh, your mom's Ultima, whatever. Something real base model, uh, and there's other cars there, there you're against McLarens, Lamborghinis, uh, you know, full out builds and all that. Your chances of getting a trophy are gonna be dwindling. Uh, the, the next uh, tips I'm gonna give you though, the next eight tips are gonna show you how you can improve the odds, even being a lesser car, believe it or not, I've gone to a car show and seen a Tiburon that was stanced with wheels that I would probably never have voted for beat out a Lamborghini and a McLaren, uh, I think it was a 600 LT at a car show. And you know, it's simply for the fact of the reasons I'm about to go over next. But uh, so you can improve your odds and just because you're not at the nicest car, you're not in the nicest car at the car show, doesn't mean you're always not gonna get a trophy. I've been to car shows where they were giving out 35 trophies and there were only 55 cars in the whole event. So over a 50% chance you were gonna get a trophy at that show. Uh, and like I said before, a lot of these shows, you know, as you get out there, go to more shows, they're, you're gonna eventually get a trophy and get known. And they, they try to make these trophies like that to where it's not just all going to one guy. And uh, a lot of times it can seem that way, but that's not the case. 
So that was number one, just having a nice car that should be a given one. Uh, but number two, one of the things you can do to make yours a little bit nicer over a nicer car is to be cleaner. You know, spend some time that week before the show waxing your car, doing paint correction, whatever you want to do. Uh, but wax is nice. It gets a nice shine on the car. Make sure you clean your engine bay. Try to get all the dust and stuff out of the nooks and cranny of it. Clean your wheels good. And make sure you put on some tire shine. One of the tri tips I do, I can give you right now is I'll put on tire shine uh, a full day before the show and just kind of not drive the car because mine is a garage car. I do have that advantage, but uh, I'll put on tire shine a full day before the show and then when I get to the show and park the t car, I'll put on tire shine again. That gives it a nice two layers and you get a real mirror finish. You know, if it's a professionally judged show and not a people's choice show, this can really come into play because judges are supposed to be rating your car highly on the clean cleanliness. Uh, so it, it's something that can give you a real big advantage real quick at a car show. And that's kind of why I've listed it at number two is uh, cleanliness. You know, be one step above the other cars there and you're gonna increase your chances of getting some. Number three, I would say would be props. Uh, and this one come, goes into the next category, I'll say in a minute, but uh, Props is something that gets attention to your car, you know, whether it be just uh, wheel stands that have flags coming up with the Texas American flag, whatever, you know, maybe a, a dash or a plaque, plaque stand outside your car display saying what your model, model of your car, maybe a little bit of history of the car or the performance values or whatever special about your baby. I've seen people put out displays with with iPads that shows showing their bi whole build process on the car. Uh, one thing people will do will put out photo albums, you know, so people can flip through and see the process they went through in this car. Maybe it be in the acquiring it, uh, build process they had, modifications, whatever. You know, having something gives the history of the car uh, or the history of the car manufacturer. You know, it could be anything. And we're coming up on that time of the year, Halloween. Halloween, so you can really play into it, you know, put some spider webs out, have some Jason mask, whatever, you know, uh, having candy out for little kids at the Halloween car show is another thing, but just something to, to give attention to your car. That can be huge at a car show and really help you out. So that kind of leads into the next one and they, they may actually kind of blend together a lot. But number four, I'm gonna say is a theme. Having a theme for your car can set you apart from everybody and a lot of times that's the best of show, the number one trophy. We'll go to a car that has a theme, you know, airbrushing to support it, all that. Uh, one of the things I did with my Camaro that won, it, it won so many trophies was the fact that I had an airbrushed Elvira uh, mural on the hood liner when you know I had the the car open up and stuff so everybody saw that it had kind of an Elvira theme and it really played in for Halloween but uh, you know stuff like that having a theme for your car and you don't have to go all out with paint maybe you just buy a, uh, you know a mannequin or whatever and put them in a Jason mask or a skeleton in the car or whatever. Uh, that's one thing I do is I put, the, especially around Halloween, is I'll put a skeleton in my car with the ZR1 hat and the little kids go crazy over it. People take pictures by your car just to get the skeleton. It's wild, but I don't think I've ever brought the skeleton to a car show that I haven't got a trophy at. We, me and the wife actually, we're talking about that last year sometime after a show. The skeleton, for whatever reason, is just my sauce for getting a, a uh, trophy at a car show. But, uh, so that shows you just having a theme can really set you apart from other cars of the show and play really big into your favor. Uh, number five and number six, I, and a lot of these are interchangeable based upon location, but number five I had on the list after moving it around a whole lot would be mods that look like out. You know, when you open up your hood, having chrome engine covers or carbon fiber or uh, airbrush painting, hydro dipping, 
stuff that will set you apart from a stock car, you know, uh, and it doesn't have to be performance mods, although those look really cool too a lot when you can, the ones you can see, but uh, that plays really big and that can be like wheels on a car, stuff like that, uh, that kind of gives your car a flavor that other cars don't have. And as you can see, a lot of this stuff and most of these tips I'm giving y'all is just stuff to give you your own flavor, your own originality, and believe it or not, that gets votes at a car show. All right, uh, number six I have is location. You know, and you hear this everywhere, location, location, location. And honestly, at a car show, this could be number two. I, when I first built the list, I actually had it at number two, but I think it depends on if it's a voted show or a people's choice show. If it's a people's choice, location really matters because people get lazy as you know how they are. And if you're parked in the back of the parking lot, there's a chance that half the people didn't even see your car. But if you're the key, the best spot, and there's people that will show up hours before a car show just to get one of these spots, believe it or not. That's how big they are on the trophy, but it really plays into it huge, is having a spot that's between the voting booth or the main tent or whatever the car show where everybody's congregating and where all the other, you know, the car parking lot. So it's the most traveled area. If you can be in that area, you know, the front row of all the cars right in front of the voting tent, that's probably the key area of the show. And there's a lot of the old time car show guys that, like I said, they'll show up hours before a show, like 5 a.m. before an 8 a.m. show just to get that spot. So uh, it does matter. And if you have a choice, just try to be, you know, as close to the front as possible and it'll help increase your odds. All right, well, for number seven, I've got leave your car open. Uh, you know, in this one, should be pretty given, but you know, at least pop your hood of your car or if your motor's in the back, I guess your trunk, but uh, either way, you know, try to leave your car as open as possible. My car, if I open the trunk, uh, my light, of course, is on and I don't want to burn down my battery and be able to start it. So you do have to take that in consideration, you know, uh, if you can leave your doors open without running down your battery, do that, uh, put tape on the sensor, whatever. You know, the more you leave your car open, the more inviting it is to come over and take a look at it, especially with the hood and stuff. That's a big deal. Uh, and I have, I use these, that can actually hurt your vehicle too, because if there's wind at a car show, you wanna be careful with that. Uh, so make sure you're properly supported with the uh, Corvettes and Camaros. They use a uh, hydraulic suspension unit thing. They've got a tight down thing. I'm gonna show a picture here. I'll put a link in the comments, anybody wanting to buy one, but I do highly recommend you use that because shows the wind kicks up. I've seen, you know, ZR1 hoods come slam me down carbon fiber and you don't want to damage your hood and stuff with that you don't want to be that guy so uh, be sure you leave your car open but do it as safe as possible and use your best judgment on whether whether or not you should do so uh, number eight I have is be social you know if this is a people's choice award and people are going around talking about cars and stuff there might be somebody up looking at your car, you see them there for a minute or two, go walk up to them to say, hey, how's it going? You know, they might have a couple questions about your car and stuff. They may have a car there they wanna go show off too. Go by, look at their car, ask questions about it. You know, be social friendly. That's part of the reason you're at the show and uh, you'll be surprised what you learn about some of these builds and little tips and tricks you might learn for your car and stuff. Uh, so, you know, have an open ear and don't be afraid to go up and talk to people, you know, be social. And that really plays over into votes, you know. If there's a guy there with a car that probably should be best of show, but he's this grumpy old man sitting on his chair the entire time, looking down at his phone or reading a book, not caring if anybody walks up, just ignoring the world. And you're sitting there telling everybody, you know, how proud you are of your car, answering all the questions, uh, you know, going checking out their car and stuff. When they go vote on their voting sheet, there's a good chance they're going to vote for you over that guy. So it can play into getting a trophy. Uh, and now we're coming down to the end of it. Number nine, and this one is really simple. Just have fun. You're not there for, like I said, to get a trophy. You're there for a good time on the weekend 
and that transpires you know if you see a guy that's there just for a trophy sometimes you're like I don't even want to vote for his car so and it, it can be difficult you have a lot of pride in your car and stuff I've seen it shows I've been there trust me you know but that's not why you're there and so just have fun enjoy the show enjoy seeing the cars enjoy showing yours off you know and enjoy meeting other people that are like-minded car guys like yourself so that's the big one for that's a big one and they actually could go down as number one you know just have fun and enjoy the show don't worry about it well that's really all i have for you guys i babbled on enough uh, like I said, I hesitated ever making this video for the simple reason, like I'm repeating myself over and over. That's not the reason why you're at the show, but uh, I do understand a lot of you guys have a lot of pride in your car. You know, I enjoy having the trophies in my garage. It brings back memories and stuff. So, you know, it's good, good mojo. So there's nothing wrong with going to show and trying to get a trophy. Just don't let it get it, get you down if you don't. Uh, but thank you so much for watching my videos. If you liked what you saw in this video, please go ahead and hit that like button below and be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe. That'll keep you up with uh, future updates. I'm going to be hitting a lot of car shows this month. There's going to be a lot of that. Uh, we've got a mod still. I say this every freaking video. We've got a mod for the focus. I still need to put in, uh, and I've got some sim racing stuff coming up. I'm not sure. I've been actually getting a lot of questions, you know, Hey, post some more racing footage and stuff like that during during races and uh, I may host a couple of races on iRacing and see if any of y'all want to join me so uh, be prepared for all that you don't want to miss it so hit that subscribe thank all y'all for watching my videos and hope you have a great week